It's another exciting season for UAP men's football as we catch the action live on Sundays and Thursdays. As soon as the season opens, we've done a lot of top fives on the show, and now it's finally time to hit the field and the pitch and score some goals. And joining us today to talk about the top five must-watch players in UAP men's football, our uh, hard-working football commentators, Mr. Jing Hamlang and Madam Marielle Benitez Haveliana. Hi, guys. Hello. How okay. Shepherd Pug Football, no one should listen to me. <laughs> they should listen to the two of you. And that's why I'm excited for this because we're going to talk about the top five must-watch players in this upcoming uh, tournament. We really hope it gets to start as soon as possible. So, uh, Marielle, I'll, I'll start with you. We start off our list with uh, LaSalle's Jed Jamante. Yes, um, I would pick not to be biased as a midfielder, but for me, I think Jed Diamante, um, one of the ones I'd say in a role model as a UAP as student athlete, uh, plays very well as a central midfield. When you see him set piece taker of Coach Hans and Coach Alvin Ocampo for La Salle, um, I remember he scored from a set piece or assisted from a set piece in last year's semifinals against UP. So definitely a must watch to see. Controls the midfield and really dictates the pace of La Salle's game. There's so much quality right now in the La Salle side. Went all the way to the finals last year, fell just a little bit short, but they have a lot of talent in their front line in particular. Jed Diamante is going to be the guy to look for to pull the strings and make sure that everybody is working well as a unit. All right, next guy on the list, this time from Ateneo, AJ Arcilia. I mean, if there's one player from Ateneo, aside from Harvey Gayoso, from last year's team, I think it would be AJ Arcilia. Very um, dominating as a goalkeeper for Ateneo. If you watch the Ateneo team, you'll see one guy who shouts loud, really controls from the back, and it would be this guy. Plus, experience-wise, he's with the uh, with, uh, Ascals as well, um, training pool of the Ascals Yep, team. was part of the training pool of the C game, so you know he's got talent over there. But as Marielle mentioned, it's his leadership qualities that's going to be the key key here. They only conceded 12 goals in the season last year. Um, a large part of that is because of his presence and his ability to control the back line. So if Ateneo want to retain their crown, AJRC is going to be a huge part of that. Will not be easy because, uh, you know, you're someone like, oh, Harvey Gayosa lang naman. Huh? It's, a, it's a minor <laughs> detail. Uh, from FEU, Gio Pabualan. Jing, why should fans be excited to watch Gio play uh, this season? I think FEU... They were a surprise last year to make it into the Final Four. They had a small squad and they were expected to struggle. But individuals like Gio Pabualan were able to showcase their talent. And it's one of the reasons why they were able to get further than they were supposed to. Now that they are going to be a stronger squad, a healthier squad, Gio is now going to have a real opportunity to showcase his talent. And everybody can remember his wonder goal from the juniors. He scored it uh, from way out. It was a beautiful volley and something that you can watch on YouTube. Gio Pabuan is a special talent. Even Harvey Goyosa was saying that he should be part of the SEA Games squad. This is his year to shine. As a second-year player for FEU, this is the time to see Gio really shine on this stage. Uh, from UP, Miggy Clarino. Uh, you guys have a lot to say about, about uh, this, this young man. Why should fans be really excited to watch him play this year? I mean, I think coming from a football family, you have about eight Clarinos playing <laughs> football from different UAP schools. Um, him being, if I'm not mistaken, the youngest or one of the youngest Clarinos, he has big shoes to fill. Um, he started off as a midfielder when his older brother, Ian Clarino, um, was playing central defender for UP. When Ian, who really played very well for UP, dominating um, player, um, graduated, Miggy was then placed as a central defender. So there's a lot of pressure for him to perform like the brother. But I think um, the most important is with UP, they have a lot of good players, but their attack really begins from their defense. Uh, so I think Miggy Clarino will be very crucial because he would have to start the build up. Um, I, th I would say he's one of the players to watch out for because his quality, if, it doesn't, if he, he doesn't shine in the UAP, I think UP would have a difficult time in the sense of um, creating their attacks this season. I, I definitely agree. I think UP, in order to succeed this year, the defense has to be super solid. They're still going to be missing the likes of uh, Takardon up front, although they will be welcoming a new Takardon into their fold. Uh, you're not sure what you're going to get up front, but if your defense is solid, you always have a chance. And if Ian Carino is gone and he played such a huge part, Miggy 
certainly has to step up this season. Oh, so we have a lot of Clarinos and we have, have, have a lot of Jamantes <laughs> yeah. right. in, in the UAP. Finally, from UST, uh, Marielle, Glenn Ramos. Now, if, if, if you're part of the Tomasian community, you're a UST fan, you're a football fan, why should we be excited to watch this guy play? Okay, well, um, he was a rookie last year. Glenn Ramos is a familiar name in football, but not because of this guy yet. Um, because of his dad, who is also a coach and also is um, named Glenn Ramos. So there's a lot of pressure for him. But last year when he played as a rookie, started the game for USD, central midfielder. So very pivotal role for the team. Um, he can score from the half line. He can make those assists. So just like Jed Diamante, I think he will be important in um, keeping the pace of the USD team who I think needs to make it um, to the final four. So a lot of pressure for a young player, and I think he's one who can live up to that name. Wow, you guys did such an amazing job. I cannot wait. I know fans <laughs> cannot wait to watch these five guys play. Jed Diamante, AJ Arcilla, Gio Pabualan, Miggy Clarino, and Glenn uh, Ramos. And we, we're, we're certainly hoping that the season gets started uh, as soon as possible. Uh, thank you, Jing, and thank you, Marielle, for thank helping you. us out. Thank you. After the break, everything that flies with the Flying Carnival 2020. Then, JC and Tal will join us to share his revived passion for painting. And he'll talk about his very first solo exhibit. We'll talk about art when the score returns.